Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, hell no. <gasps> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Haunting of Hill House, I like episode show. three. It's a good show. It's a very good show. And we got a real heavy, you know, a lot, obviously a lot's going on for everyone, but, <laughs> right. but we got <laughs> a little, little bit. We got, we got a real deep kind of Shirley episode mm -hmm. where we got to see her finding those kittens Ugh. and then losing the kittens. Ooh. And and then kind of you know transitioning from that into her mom's passing, and kind of you kind of see the moments where I believe that she might have decided to take on the business that she is doing now, because that mortician made her feel comfortable. Yes, going up to see her mom. And you um, see that playing out with the with the young boy. Yes, I mean which but Who the, see the story but the stories of him like you know oh yeah grandma sits on the end of my bed and like nope uh -uh. no ma'am uh-uh it's like she doesn't Hell no. she doesn't have teeth and like she looks Ugh. it's like that sounds like i, I would love to see my grandparents again not <laughs> but like not that. like that no not like that and um mama browse with another story over on uh patreon oh yeah. my god so Girl, these are not coincidences. Yeah. So, you know, we got a lot of backstory on her and you know, just how everything is played out for her and it's stuff that happened to her as a kid is now playing out for her as an adult in the same scenario and you know, she was she she's got a really tough job to do because she's she decided to make her sister look real nice for totally. for her service yes. and but I mean, she's got kids living in that house. That there's no dead, thanks. Dead bodies in the basement, waiting to be embalmed. And I don't know, do they do the embalming there too, or just the makeup and That's just scary. preparing them no. for open casket? Not cool. Ha! Ah, no. I don't want to live in a house that all that stuff takes place. No. But what happened while she was working on her sister? A bug crawled out of her sister's mouth. The same kind of bug that crawled out of the kitten. Yeah. So gross. And, and then as she's leaving, she's staring at another table and up Which pops, was empty. Up pops mom holding a purple box. The, the same, same kind of box that, uh, same purple box like that she had to bury a kitten in. And, and then the same type of, well not same one, but like a similar box. Might that have been the, the same one. Well, that the guy brought in with oh, like yeah. pictures of the grandma. Pictures of the grandma? No. Yeah, it was grandma. That's was who, that the grandma one or was, or was it, that about Nell? Oh, I don't, I don't remember now. But regardless, it, it looks, it looks the same. Yeah, well, I mean, it's purple. Like the whole like purple idea, I believe. It's, it's all things that are triggering these moments and mm -hmm. Bringing back these spirits. And, but who was that dude that was like chilling on the couch, yeah. like having a drink? I even zoomed in on that. I didn't like. I thought it was Steve at first, but it wasn't. Or was it? I mean, it. I just. It didn't. I didn't recognize him. Like, it, like, was he like the younger version of her dad? You know, another person yeah. that had passed away. If it's something like, we're gonna find out, keep your mouths closed. Um, if it's something we should know from the first two episodes, fine. You could share. Um, but yeah, that was don't spoil just it random, <laughs> just random dude sitting on the couch while she's sitting there working. Like having it's like, a drink, man. It's like, oh, what's up, dude? How's it going? But then he disappears just like that. Yeah, and Steve is is actually real shook. The dude who tells people stories for a living finally kind of experienced something that you know threw him off. He saw a sister who. I, I you know? and I'm sure that they've experienced stuff when they were in that house. But, like, no one's really talking about it. Yeah. And, I mean, Steve has been... It's just real sketch. He he doesn't... He, he's not a big... Like, he admitted to not being a big believer of that stuff. So How can you not? Yeah. I don't know. It's just... He said it. He's like... Or do it, you the just brain, block it out? He believes that the brain tricks you into seeing things and believing things. So, it's... If, if you believe that you ain't seeing something, you ain't seeing something. You know, I guess. Yeah, but I don't know how he's going to be able to explain the whole sister with Nell, the whole situation with Nell. If 
like the fact that she was in his place, walked up to him and then did that like ah crazy scary face. Like he was way shook when he when he called Shirley. Like, I love that you're saying the word shook. Shook. He was shook. Shook, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a different level of just being scared. Like he was he rattled was, yeah, to the bone. For sure. So a lot going on. This family is dealing with a lot of stuff. Um you I'm ready? actually getting nervous knowing that we're about to watch this stuff. Like my eyes are already sweating. Yeah, you ready to jump into it? Yes. Episode three. Let's go. We've got an episode called uh, Touched. That sounds... Touch. Touch. I don't want anyone to touch So that me. means it's present tense. Someone's going to touch. Don't you dare touch. Nothing. Shit. They're back in the house. Fuck. Oh, hell no. Shit's <laughs> just, no. just opening. Floorboard creaking. I love subtitles. Oh, Jesus. Not you, Nellie. You can sleep with me for tonight. Nellie, you're squeezing too tight. Nellie. What the f... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Whose hand was I holding? Fuck. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Could you imagine nope. someone crawling in your bed and putting their arm around you, holding your hand, be like, you're squeezing too tight. Can you stop? And you roll over, there's no one there. What? Mm -mm. Oh my God. That's so creepy. I mean, I, 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 the whole children aspect of it thing. Like, these children don't think anything of it. Like, oh. Good start. Let's go. Yeah, sure. It was a Monday, and I couldn't sleep. Even the simple shit gets you. I went downstairs to the kitchen to get a snack, and that's the first night I saw him, Mr. Smiley, coming out from where he lives. What does Mr. Smiley look like? Just a big smile. <clears throat> Too big. He's always smiling, but he isn't happy. Where does Mr. Smiley live, Kelsey? Under the house. In the basement? You're a lot like me, Kelsey. When I was little, I was afraid of a lot of things. They were all in my head. I just didn't know that yet. It's kids like us who've been through more than other kids. We're tougher than other kids. We make ourselves really safe. I prefer yeah, not seeing dead people. Gets it. Yeah. Mr. Smiley does. Shit. Our other two foster kids are thriving. We Please. just want the same for her. Can you pause it for a second? She's telling me about Mr. Smiley. Why is it that they're always trying to talk these kids out of what they think that they're seeing? I mean, like, they're, the dad was always like, it's all in your head, you're fine. Sometimes our dreams spill over into, you know, what we think is real life. Because it's scary. But it's like, why, it can be why not believe this child? Why can't you believe that she's actually seeing something? I just feel like this I'm is how kids feel like so. they, don't, they don't get heard. I don't know. I'm sure there's a level of, like, science to it. Like the psychology, I know, of but a, like a to just like brain. completely discount anything that that child is telling you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. What would you do? <laughs> I don't know. What would you do if your child came up to you and said, "There's a man living under our house with a giant smiley face." They were fucking moving. Now we're not staying here anymore. Peace out, deuces. It's going up in flames. Insurance money, where you at? <laughs> you wouldn't try to, like, talk her out of believing what she saw? No. Because I don't think my child is a liar. Yeah. I mean, especially at that age. Like, they're imagine like we've all had imaginary friends growing up. Like, that's... The, 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 the children's brains run wild with imagination. Like, I'm just saying. But the scary stuff, though, I mean, is that, like, a predator or is that a ghost? Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying. 
just putting it out there. I just, that just bothered me right now. Not believing the child. Especially her. Especially Theo. Like, come on, man. All right, go ahead. And all our kids have always had to go through an adjustment. This could be normal. Foster care system isn't the easiest place to grow up. And the Mr. Smiley thing, did that start right away? A few weeks after she moved in. As she's standing right in front of a giant smiley face. She's a psychologist, so... I know. Maybe she's doing what is right for a child's brain. Okay, okay, I just, you know, I, I've worked scared for this poor child. Most of this stuff is gonna be junk, but anything fancy, we can sell. Hang on, this is fancy. Yeah. 49, Claude Real. Damn. This is quite... And you were gonna throw it away. How did you know that? Cool. Maybe you send messages for it. Pam, let me see. Huh? It's like a telephone, but for inside the house. Yeah, Millie, really, you stay there. Okay. Um, no, don't leave that trial alone. <laughs> the other end. This was a sick bed. What happened? <laughs> She's adorable. I love the lab duel! Just to play that tape over and over so you couldn't understand it anymore. Oh shit. Come on, man. Hello? Mm-mm. the way to close out your night at the club. Chug of water. <laughs> uh, Luke? The hell? That might be her. What the hell is he Ellie? doing in there? She never stays after dark. Trying to take a ride in this elevator? No. Elevator. Nobody. Let's not. You're a crazy kid. You know that? Just one ride. I know it works. Please. No. No. Nope. I won't tell. It's a perfect kid size elevator. Oh no, I. Oh shit! Fine. Oh jeez. Oh, this... Ready? Hey! Up! Oh, up! Oh, Theo! Oh shit. Theo! Look! Theo! Oh Theo. my god! Hell no. Nope! No, 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 no! Luke? There's a ladder down here on the wall. You can come get me. Just hang on. Bring me up, please. Oh, come Are on. you kidding me? Oh, hell no. <gasps> Fuck! Did you see that shit? Hang on. What the hell? <laughs> Something grabbed him. Oh my god. Mm -mm. There is some messed up shit in this house. Tonight, while we're sleeping, we'll make sure to roll over and grab your hand. <laughs> oh, hell no. What the fuck? Wow. 
Jesus. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, fuck. You really got my head, girl. There ain't nobody there. I'm sorry. It's no. Oh yeah, that was mm -hmm. the day before. Dang, I haven't heard you yell like that watching a show in a long time. Shit. Toast time, I'm a maid of honor as MIA. Toast were uh, supposed to be 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry, I'm ready. I want to see who's in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. We didn't know you were uh, into bridesmaids. Oh, they're cute together. They had such a, they all had such like a good, fun relationship. Yeah. They don't believe me. Now they said the basement's not real. And whatever was down there, they definitely don't believe me. I believe you. There's that whole touch thing. Maybe we can prove it to them. Oh shit. You said something about a ladder. You were down there? Oh, hell no. Why would you want to go seek oh, that out? Oh, no, 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 nope. No, thank you. You better keep that down there, whatever that is. Shit. Hell no. Nope. No, no, thank you. Nope, no, uh-uh, mm-mm, nope. Why would you go no! down? No! No! Sir, do you even have a flashlight on you? Tell somebody that you're going down there, please, God! Oh, hell no! Can we not, please? Shit. I know, a flashlight would come in real handy right about now, but then again, no, because then that fucking door is gonna close. Watch! Holy shit! Don't, 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 don't. What the hell? This is this is pretty fucking scary shit. Oh my god. You were so scared. Why? Why? No, girlfriend. Oh, hi. I'm so sorry to just uh, drop in on you like this. Would you mind if I took a quick look down in your basement? She clearly has some kind of sense. Mm-hmm. Like, can she sense the presence of something? Because she's been able to tell when people have been scared just by touching them. Right. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that child being abused and that's what she sees are you kidding One. thanks what are you um, looking at your smile that's right and social services too I haven't been wrong before, have I? Oh my god. The... That's I'm sure. horrible. I'm sure that I will confess if you just... Wow. That little girl's being abused. That's awful. I mean, that was one of the theories. It was either she's seeing ghosts or there's a predator. 
Mr. Smiley. You found this. You know, there's not a single record of this basement. It's not on any of the blueprints. They didn't want anyone to find it. But you did. I love that you're so brave. Oh, oh God. shit! Honey? Honey? What the fuck? What the hell? Looks like she was completely correct. Yep. Wow, dude. This is... Oh, this is heavy, man. I think Theo is my favorite. But she has like a psychic type of ability to sense stuff just by touching it yeah like even as little as knowing that the bottle the alcohol was in that that wooden bottle at the beginning your grandmother she was sensitive i wondered if you and your sisters might be a little sensitive noticed you always wear sweaters inside even though it's summer because it's always cold these will help with the cold and the other thing she's like elsa right Makes her feel better. Thanks. You know, I was pretty impressed by what you wrote about that night. What night? The last one. Some wild stuff in there, considering that you were asleep for what? Like 99% of it? What? So, what are you gonna do with the money? I'm gonna get my fucking PhD. Solid. Nice, Solid. yeah. Do something really productive with that money. It, it, it had to have been more than 15 grand then because you can't get your PhD for as little as 15 grand. You got way oh. more schooling than 15 grand worth, right? Mm -hmm. Unless she knew more checks were coming. Oh, that's true too. No, I don't think this is a good idea. <sighs> this is a terrible idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is she going to see? Oh God! Oh crap! Come on! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? said two words to each other. Can we take a second and talk? No, she's not the talking type. I found out that a nine-year-old was getting molested by her foster dad. And she buried it so deep she had to make up a monster just to compartmentalize and cope. Guy folded like a cheap suit the moment he was questioned by the cops, so... Yay! I touched her hand and I didn't even... She just needed help. And no one was listening. So, should we talk about your day, or would you rather come to bed? <laughs> Jesus. Oh They're shit! Taking us back to the house. Oh shit! The last night. Oh god. Oh, it's happening. Get them to the car. I need to get Steve and Cheryl. It's happening. Go. Holy shit. We really gotta stop watching this show at nighttime. Oh. <laughs> hey! Stop! Let go! Let go of it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Touch me. She needed to get the other thoughts out of her head. Oh shit. Wow. Hurry quick, the, the next episode's gonna play. Shit, don't do that. Wow. That episode was 
insane. I get the, I kind of see what they're doing. Each episode so far has kind of been... Their perspective. Has been kind of just a background on one of the children. Their issues. Oh or just their experiences, what they're just, doing in their life. Yep. We're, we're learning about them. Because in the first one, we got Steve. And then the last one, we got... Shirley. Shirley. And then this one, we got... Theo. Theo, so... But I really like Theo. She's a really good character. She's very interesting. I mean, just that she's got that... Ability that, to yeah. just... And she can just figure stuff out by touching it. It's like... Jesus. She's sensitive. Like, she's super sensitive. Like... like but I mean, like, that end scene, touch me. It's like, get this shit out of my head. Yeah, totally. Like, is that what happens if someone t is touching her? She could see their mm -hmm, images mm -hmm, and she mm -hmm, could... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if that things. person's been through horrible stuff? Like, God, are you seeing that? Yeah, like, no. I'm sure man. whatever horrible stuff, she would rather see that than anything that she's seen before. Yeah, that last... Like, what, what did the dads, like, when the dad was grabbing her... The last night, like, the, uh, saw some the mom. I, yeah, yo. saw some stuff. Not cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, they episode one had its moments. Episode two had less. Episode three had, had way had more. Holy shit! Level of just like what the. I mean, fuck? I screamed right now. <laughs> yeah, I was. That was. That was you. You were legit. Like. That was, you, you were freaked out. I'm still freaked out. Like, shit. I mean, man. between seeing the kid in that, like, basement room and just uh, the face the of the. Shit the, coming out from behind the fucking barrels. Hell no. Whatever the hell that was nope. that took her covers off when she was sleeping. That looked like Scarecrow from freaking Batman shit. I mean, there is. These characters, they've obviously been through a lot. But, like, getting these layers kind of unraveled and really learning about them, it's like, damn. That poor child. <sighs> Mr. But, Smiley, and it's the fucking knots on the wall. I, you know what? I can look at, like, plaster and things and see, like, faces and, like, little, like, designs so, and things. I mean, how horrible of an that experience for that child to to come up with that. Oh, my God. I mean, she was real sarcastic about it with her little girlfriend, but yeah, yay you. The fact that you were able to figure that out is awesome. But then she was also saying that, like, that little girl has to go back into the system, which is also, like, so... But you don't want them to get abused? It's better oh than... Oh, my God. It's better than living with that guy. No, fuck yeah. I mean, I, yes. Like... So... And I was totally wrong about my pause earlier. Like, I thought that, like, this little girl was seeing... Th I mean, that's why I'm not a professional. <laughs> That's why I'm not. And again, it's one of those things that we learned about her is that she spent the money that Steve made off of the book and to put help. it towards education and becoming a psychiatrist. Psychologist, like, psychi psychiatrist, I don't, whatever. Yeah, one of those. Um, and now she helps kids, which is awesome. This is just insane. Yeah, she's got a wild life too. Like, yeah. It's it's like one thing during the day, total totally something else at night. Like, well, she's trying to to numb herself. Yeah, she's distracting herself from stuff at night for the things that happen during the day. Yeah, I mean, how crazy is it that you could just touch something and be like, I need to know what. Oh, happened there's at. something that's going on right there. Yep. Or like, oh hey, there's a really expensive bottle of wine in here. Like. Yeah. The dad was just going to throw it away, and she Crazy. found it. 1949? Yeah, it's just, she is, I think she is the most interesting character so far. Yeah, she's, I totally dig her. I mean, just the fact and that she's... And she is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, just the, the idea that she's got that really cool kind of sensitivity ability is kind of cool. Yeah, but I need to know what happened that last night. I'm sure we'll find That's out. fucking terrifying. I thought it was funny how the, how the family found out that she's into girls... The bridesmaid. Yeah, she likes She's bride into bridesmaids. She likes bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was funny. Um, I mean, but she was real cute about it. It's just, it's so sad because when you see them at the wedding and in that time frame, they seem so loving and so nice and so fun together. And it's like, what the hell happened to all these people? Like, they... I, mean, I think Luke 
Luke and Nelly got the brunt of most of it. I mean, he turned well, Luke to... Luke, for sure. He turned to drugs. Well, Nelly committed suicide. Well, we don't know. We still don't know if it was something spiritual that brought her there. We don't know, like, the situation, if she was, like, possessed or anything. Like, I think, I think what Luke went through being the youngest and clearly seeing the most stuff as a child, at least that's what it feels like, I think that drove him... Well, I think that Luke and Nellie both see the most stuff be, being the littlest. Yeah, I mean... I feel like they're... What a, a spirit would think that they were, like, weaker. And and Luke, or, no, one, no one wants to believe him. Right, I know, poor like, baby. He had his friggin' little pajamas ripped apart, and they were like, that oh, means it just... That something got this close. Yeah. Like, this fucking... Oh, and it was no. like, oh, no, he just got it caught on the, on <gasps> the thing. It's like... No, actually, this little demon thing living in our basement grabbed me and ripped my clothes. Ah, the zombie from the, from the Walking Dead. Yeah, that was, that's worse. <laughs> that's worse than a zombie from the Walking Dead. That's scarier. So, yeah, really good episode. Again, like, they, this show is creepy. The story is really good. They get you with the jumps. Oh my like, God. everything about this show in terms of, like, what I enjoy for, like, a horror type of thing is... I points. mean, same. So far, I enjoy so this shit as terrifying as it is, and how much I really feel like this shit actually could happen. Mm. Like, oh, I like it though. <laughs> yeah, it's. I just like that it's not one of those typical like. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's. It's, it, it's got. It's got a really good story. Like, there's a deep meaning to everything that's going on with each each one of these characters, and. I'm fast like it's it's scary as hell. I am fascinated to find out what happened because this is this is fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might I might have some bruises tomorrow. Uh, Nikki, You're fine. Nikki grabbed. Nikki <laughs> squeezed real hard Sorry. and hit real hard. Like, okay. no. <laughs> like you don't understand how hard you're hitting somebody when you're freaking out. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know my it's, own strength. That's what I'm here for. So, any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all, leave them comments below. Keep those stories coming if you got any. We love hearing them. I do. They're I want to hear all of I want to hear all the stories, yeah. all of that. And again, I keep seeing a little shadow by our our stairs while i'm sitting there editing at the stop and nikki's like can you just not say that please can you just leave? he's like yeah he tells me last night he's like can you tell a little kid that's standing in the hallway to stop it and i'm uh, like what i'm really good at pushing buttons y'all that's not funny at all yeah so. i'm not amused good stuff we'll see you guys later like subscribe hit the bell for notifications have a good one bye